Internal combustion engines may have reached their evolutionary peak. Cars have never been this fast from the factory. Stock McLaren 765 LTs can clock 9 second quarter miles on the drag strip. But us car guys don't only go out looking for speed. The feel, the emotion and the experience is equally valuable for us. That's why naturally aspirated engines are the way to go if you're a purist. And in the world of turbochargers and hybrids and superchargers, Audi and Lamborghini have stayed true to the supercar formula. Welcome back to the Drivers Hub. This is a Gen 2 Audi R8 and since it's the Drivers Hub, of course this thing is done all the way up to stage 2. Before we jump into this stage 2 R8 V10 Plus, let me give you a quick history lesson. The Audi R8 was introduced way back in 2006 as Audi's flagship halo car. When it was launched, back in the day, it came with Audi's in-house 4.2-litre naturally aspirated V8 with the option of an auto or a manual transmission. After a few years, Audi transplanted the Gallardo's V10 engine into the R8 and basically created a cut price more practical, more usable and more reliable Lamborghini. Fast forward to 2015, Audi launched the Gen 2 Audi R8 with the Huracan's 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 and a dual clutch transmission. The Audi R8 was so cool when it came out that Tony Stark drove it in the Iron Man movies. The R8 also was the first car ever to come with daytime running lights, which is now literally a compulsory regulatory feature for almost all modern cars. Undoubtedly, the R8 was one of the coolest supercars when it came out. Heck, Tony Stark was driving one in the Iron Man. And because of its very usable ergonomics and a lot of the things just being an Audi, it was named that it was the daily supercar for the people and well it is and this Gen 2 R8 keeps the tradition going with even better uh, interior ergonomics. There is leather everywhere, there's a lot of carbon fibre and since it's still an Audi underneath, all of the usability is still there. For example, this steering wheel is very usable. You have your normal infotainment and cruise control features all on the steering wheel but since it's an R8, of course it has some really special things on it. For example, the start stop button is here on the steering wheel as well as the drive select button the race mode button and the exhaust button and since this has a dual clutch transmission you have paddle shifters which will throw you into space if you go really really fast and the uh, gear selector is here in the middle just like other Audis and a little cool feature that I really like about the R8 is this air conditioning uh, area over here it is it looks like it's floating that's how futuristic the R8 looks even if this car is almost I would say five years old But I'm pretty sure that you guys aren't interested in the interior of this thing because this thing comes with a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 from the factory and Lamborghini have already stuck to the roots of a proper supercar. And like I said in the start of this video, this thing has been boosted up all the way to stage 2. It makes 40 more horsepower from stock, 650 horsepower. But all of the mods, the exhaust and everything that that's done to this car, I will talk about later when I'm inside the car. This 5.2 litre V10 in its stock form makes 610 horsepower and in the starting of the video I say that this car might feel slow by the modern day standards but still it can go from 0 to 100 km an hour in 2.7 seconds. It's fitted with an all wheel drive uh, drivetrain which means there's traction for days. I need to stop blabbering, get inside and see how it feels. has been 
been like modded to an extent, stage two. So, uh, what all has been done, and can you explain some of the future things that are going to be done to this car? So, currently the car has a stage two super zip snap, uh, which is pushing up around six fifty to six seventy horses. We've not been able to dyno it because we don't have an all-wheel drive dyno. But yeah, that's what an estimated figure that we are looking at is. It's still going to be pushed a little more. Uh, we are trying to see if we can push it to 700 horsepower. But let's see, it's in the future. It's running a super sprint exhaust right now. Uh, that's a race exhaust. So no valves, it's always loud but it sounds very beautiful. And it has a custom wrap uh, which specifically is for the brand, for the client which helps him to market his brand also. Right. Custom wrap plus stainless steel exhaust, custom made for uh, R8, stage 2 super chips and yeah, there are a couple of more upgrades coming in. One is uh, uh, we're planning to get uh, bigger wheels on them and a lift kit because yeah, like you know. That was pretty quick and that's the thing like naturally aspirated motors like the feel and everything is just different. Yup, over 650 horsepower from a naturally aspirated V10 motor. Like Chetan said, Super Chips and CS4 Performance were developing a 700 bhp tune for this area. Also maybe some more parts like a carbon fiber intake will be ordered for the car. And the best part is, this isn't even scratching the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the R8's capabilities. Supercharger kits are quite a common sight in the US with the cars producing a very reliable 800 to 900 horsepower from a VF engineering supercharger kit. But if you want to create something that can hunt down Bugatti Veyrons for breakfast, the R8 and Huracan platform can also be fitted with a twin turbo kit from Sheepy Race or Underground Racing. And I am pretty sure to most of you it is common knowledge that those cars are some of the fastest street cars out there with power figures anywhere between 1000 to 1500 horsepower. Coming to the looks, many people were divided on the Gen 2 R8 claiming that it had lost that cool factor. But honestly, since its debut back in 2015, this pre-facelift Gen 2 car looks absolutely amazing. In some darker colors, it is subtle enough for you to miss it. But I am pretty sure in a country like India, no one is gonna miss this going around in the streets. Especially with a super sprint race exhaust singing the tune of a naturally aspirated V10, everyone is going to notice you. So of course, maybe a Huracan has that slight special factor of the Lamborghini badge, the insane looks and just being more flamboyant overall. But the R8 has its pros of being more friendly to taller people because of its spacious cabin. And more importantly, being easily almost 1 crore cheaper than a Huracan in the used car market for essentially the same car underneath. This stage 2 R8 shows that the tune revolution going on in India isn't only happening in the world of Octavia VRSs and Abarth Puntos, but even the big boys are wanting to make their mark and have the fastest machinery around. Thank you so much to CS4 Performance for letting us do this video. Be sure to check them out on Instagram and if you're in the Goregaon area, they're one of the best workshops around. This has been Soam Saraf. If you're interested in buying sports cars and tuner cars, check out our new service called TDS Classifieds. Link below.